Hey guys, me again. Just want to showcase this Acer Chromebook that I got for Christmas in 2021. What can I say about this Chromebook? It's amazing. I love it. Although I need to mention, I did read reviews on some people having problems with their Chromebooks, so you might want to buy at your own risk. Go to a Walmart and pick up this model. I got this as a Christmas present, uh, but my family member got theirs at Walmart because I know for a fact I saw them on the shelves there. And uh, yeah, they had two versions. They had a 32 gigabyte uh, SSD and a 64 gigabyte SSD. I asked for the 64 gigabyte because, hey, the more storage, the more stuff you can load on here, and more quicker, possibly as well. So, if you're after one of these two, you have the option of 32 gigabyte or 64 gigabyte. I asked for the 64 gigabyte, and both of them have a 4 gigabyte RAM, which the RAM is not removable. Most Chromebooks, the RAM is soldered to the board. Some have a removable SSD. Others, like this one, unfortunately, have it soldered to the board. Which is okay, because 64 gigabytes on this is overkill for a Chromebook. But to be fair, there are some that have 128 gigabytes. Which is also overkill. So if you want a Chromebook with a lot of uh, space on it, I would go for the 128 gigabyte ones, but they're very expensive. So, yeah, this is cheaper. Other things I need to mention are the keyboard is not backlit, but it has a nice tactile feeling. I like the keys on this keyboard. If I had to choose between backlit or functionality, I'll take functionality over backlit. Let me think about it. Would you rather have a keyboard that has good functionality and no backlit keys? Or would you rather have backlit keys, but with a not-so-well-functioning key? Think about it. You would probably go for the functionality as well. I mean, it would be nice to have both, but it doesn't really bother me. It may bother others, but it hasn't bothered me. This here is a trackpad. You can also do zoom in, zoom out on that. It's not a bad trackpad. To right-click, you hit Alt and click. Like that. Just so you know. If you want to right click, it's the Alt key and then the touchpad. Unless you prefer using the mouse, then you would use the mouse for that. The keys right here are your function keys. The end button, home button, page up and down are right here. Your numeric keys are right here. I need to mention the power buttons above the backspace. It's now on the far right. Most uh, laptops that have a numeric key, the power button would be right here on the edge. But this one, it's right here, so you know. So if you try holding the end button, you're wondering, why isn't my Chromebook turning off? That's because the power button is this wider button right there. Just thought I'd let you know in case some of you may be experiencing that situation. The time here is also the dates. Battery is right here. This is the Wi Fi. I'm not going to highlight it because that's personal. The notifications are right here. Your phone hub, if you connect your phone to your Chromebook, it will tell you what phone you have. I've got my Samsung Galaxy S21 connected to that, and that's the one that's connected to it. Right here is the Tote, which is the stuff you downloaded uh, off of the internet and stuff. So, what can I say about this uh, Chromebook? It's got four gigabytes, as I mentioned, which is nice. 64 gigabyte SSD, which is even nicer. The webcam is also nice, but I'm gonna block the uh, camera with uh, using this coin, so. Because I don't wanna show my face on camera. So, I don't know if you can see the screen, but that is the uh, webcam. As you can see, it's a nice, crisp screen, as you can see. That's very, very nice. And you can see my hand right here. I'll turn it off so I don't actually reveal my face. But yeah, the uh, laptop uh, or Chromebook's uh, webcam is very nice. And when you record uh, quality off of the microphone, it's not too bad either. It's very nice as well. The speed time is also nice. It's got two USB-C ports on the sides and two USB 3.0 ports as well. 
as well as the headphone jack and a micro SD card. The speakers are on the side instead of having them underneath the, the palm rest, which I like them right here more than under here. That means the sound won't be muffled uh, like uh, most laptops with speakers. I don't like it when we put speakers underneath. The battery life is amazing. And let me show you uh, the uh, port on the side. We'll start with the right side. This is the Chromebook logo right here and the HR logo right there. Right here you've got the uh, one of the ports, your USB 3.0 and the Type-C connector. And on the other side, you got another Type-C port, another USB 3.0. You got your micro SD card connector and a headphone jack, which if you can use uh, those headphones with the built-in microphone if you wish. It will work on here. The uh, battery is underneath on the bottom. It takes uh, 12 screws to take it apart. I need to mention the SSD and uh, RAM are not upgradable unless you know how to use a heat gun and swap parts and stuff. I don't recommend doing that because you might screw something up. Unless you really know what you're doing, then try at your own risk. I wouldn't recommend it. That was the coffee table doing that, just so you know. And also what's nice about the charger is it uses a Type-C connector. So this is the charger that came with the uh, Chromebook. This end goes to the wall. This is the US plug, just so you know. You plug this into your wall. And this works in overseas because this is one of those uh, 100 to 240 volt AC adapters. And that was my phone that went off. And this is the end that you plug into your Chromebook. What's nice about it is you can plug it on the left side or the right side. Just like uh, those MacBook Pros uh, that you can get on the market, which are like three times the price of this. So other than that, I would go for this because it's nice and cheaper. But other than that, most people say Chromebooks are trash. I say uh, it depends on the uh, RAM and the SSD storage. I had a Samsung Chromebook which only had 2 gigabytes of RAM and a 16 gigabyte SSD. I tried to upgrade both of them but they were solid to the board. Yeah. Samsung Chromebooks for cheap are not the way to go. If you want a decent Chromebook, you're going to want to spend a lot more money unless you know what you're expecting. So, yeah. In conclusion, um, I say it's worth picking up. I might as well demonstrate it running uh, applications, so hang on. All right, as you can see, I have uh, YouTube running. Let's go ahead and go to my channel and show you what I have. So let's uh, pick a random video. Let's select this video and see how see how quick this runs. Hey guys, we're doing this quick video. That's the uh, HP Compact. Uh, we upgraded the uh, RAM to uh, eight gigs, uh, and the SSD now has a uh, five hundred gigs. So just an update and other stuff and such. We still have that laptop. It doesn't belong to me. It belongs to my dad. So. It still works. We uh, cleaned it out, did some swapping and stuff. May upgrade the processor. Who knows? The one on the right is the older Chromebook that I used to have. Gave it to my dad as a Christmas present because he was giving me this one. So I decided to give him the older one so I can have this new one. He loves it. But yeah, this loads pretty quickly. See how quick that was? And there's my Christmas video that I made that had this uh, introduced. All nice stuff. So, that's all I have to show here. Thanks for watching. This is Keep Me 25 saying, uh, if you're after a Chromebook, this is one option I would recommend. But if you want to try putting Windows 10 on here, either you'll have to go for a different one or wait until that time comes. So, thanks for watching. Oh, and the only gripe I have with this is it takes micro SD cards instead of regular SD cards.
But to be fair, I use micro uh, SD cards. The camcorder that I'm using with uh, has a micro SD card through like, an adapter, so it's a minor gripe. But if you want something that uses a regular SD card, you're going to want one of these adapters. This is a uh, PNY uh, USB 3.0 high performance card reader. It has regular, micro, Memory Stick Pro Duo, M2, and X cards. They all work on here. They also have the CFUNDMA cards, which I have no idea what they do. I think they're for really old laptops, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, if you're going to want to use regular SD cards, get this adapter. It's not too expensive. In fact, this is what you would do. You would plug this part in here, it slides up, and then you plug in your SD card through here. This also works if you want to do a 3DS or Switch uh, SD card transfer. So, Chrome OS is a good way to transfer easily because if you want to upgrade to a 64 gigabyte SD card on your uh, Chromebook, you can format FAT32 easily. It's really difficult on Windows, but it's easy on Chrome, on Linux, and Mac OS. Just thought I'd let you know about that. So, anyway, that ends off this video for real. I would give this Chromebook a 10 out of 10 because I love everything about it. Once again, the only grab I have is the SD card, but to be fair, I use mostly micro, so it's not a big deal to me. But it might be to you, so watch out for that.